Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 390 RK Champagne Edition Luxury 5th Wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we're going to close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 390 RK Champagne Edition version here. So we're going to start back here in the kitchen living room area and kind of work our way forward. So going on back to the rear section, this is again rear kitchen setup. So back here we do have a little dishwasher. Basically a little pull-out drawer dishwasher. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Electric outlet back there, USB charger ports back there. Really pretty stone style, solid surface countertops back here in this section. You have high rise spring sprayer faucet. Double bowl undermount stainless sink with these little strainer covers. Down below, quite a bit of storage under there. You have four drawers over there. And we have the large Insignia oven. This is basically a gas oven, four burner cooktop. Does have the glass front, light up uh, little knobs and stuff there. This one was ordered with the convection microwave instead of the standard microwave. So it, you are able to electronically cook as well if you want. Lots of cabinet and counter space back here for this kitchen area. Look at all that storage up through there. Same thing over on the other side. You have a pretty good sized window across the back here that does open. They are also using a day shade and a nightshade. So you have two different types of shades down here in the kitchen living room area. Now over here we have kind of a large pantry section. There is some shelf space but also some pull out drawers as well. Electric outlet back there but again full extending ball bearing drawer got a drawers. Now for the refrigerator over here, they are currently using the Insignia refrigerator. This does have an ice maker. It is a 110 volt refrigerator, not a 12 volt version. And freezer is on bottom. So your ice maker is going to be on that top shelf section right there basically. There's an on off for it outside. You'll see when we get out there. Um, there is, a, looks like a little water dispenser here. And looks like some sort of little filter system built in up there. Controls across the top. And then you also have some storage up there. Dinette wise, you have the freestanding style dinette. Does have an extension leaf on it to give you some more elbow room. Two traditional chairs you can see here on the right. And then it has two fold-up chairs. I went and got those out from underneath the bed. They fold up and kind of store under the bed if you're not using them or if you're not wanting to take them with you at all, leave them at home. Big windows here overlooking the campsite area of your RV. Those windows do open. Now on the traditional Cedar Creek, these are the frameless style windows you'll see when we get outside as well. Uh, but they're single pane glass on the standard stuff. Uh, option for dual panes uh, if you want dual pane windows for you more extended stay or full time customers. Here we have tire pressure monitor system. This is a really nice important safety feature. Definitely glad they do that. This was also ordered with the four camera system. So we have seven inch monitor. You have a camera down each side, a camera above the entry door, and one above the back door or back cap area. So you could see kind of what's going on around your RV as you are traveling around. 
The slide floor, instead of using carpet, uses the kind of woven material they use on pontoon boats. And in your main subfloor is a vinyl floor. Plywood floor, aluminum stud construction on your subfloor. Aluminum studded sidewalls and aluminum studded roof truss. A lot of brands slap an aluminum sidewall sticker on it, but then they cheapen up and go to wood floor studs with an OSB board and wood roof studs as well. So here, they're not cheapening up on those stud constructions. You're getting aluminum cage all the way around. It's a really nice feature. I would really recommend checking out the Cedar Creek construction video that they did. You can literally peel the fiberglass off of a Cedar Creek and the thing still stays together. It doesn't depend on a whole bunch of glue to hold it together like a laminated product. Um, so this is a real cage type construction, similar to what you would try to build a home out of if you were building it out of aluminum to travel down the road, um, versus just trying to slap a bunch of glue together. So I do give them kudos on construction part of it, whether you like the look or not, construction is definitely hard to beat on the walls, roof, and floor. Over there on that slide, we have a tri-fold sofa. So that will flip out, make into a bed. You could sleep two guests there pretty comfortably. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater right there. They are using the Insignia Fire TV right now. And this customer also ordered his with the satellite uh, on the roof. So that is where they kind of stash the little satellite box right there out of the way. Storage down below. So you got shelf space on each side here and then some more cabinet space up above as well. Even in the slide, you got nice big windows. Again, these windows over here in this slide that I'm sitting in now actually open. Directly across from me there, I have a power theater seat, cup holders and storage in the middle, USB charger ports in each arm. Looking directly at your TV entertainment area, you have another power theater seat. There's an electric outlet on the wall there as well, USB charger ports on each arm. Now these three sofas slash theater seats are all completely freestanding. So they can be taken out, thrown away, new stuff put in years down the road if you ever you know, want to do that. So nice furniture already, part of the Thomas Paine collection, but it is not something that's built in. It's something you can replace and change out in the future. Now this one was ordered with that second awning as well. And when you do that second awning, you have controls here, wind uh, sensors for it as well. Uh, there's a light switch there for the LED light strip. Entry door wise, you have a little bit wider door. It's a 32 inch wide door where most are 30 or 28. Uh, you have a screen door as well. There's a little peephole in it also. And the step you'll see when we get outside does have the shock assist to help flip the step up in here. Grab handle there. There is the 30 amp go power charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel. Um, I believe this customer actually added two more solar panels as well. Temperature sensor for one of the ACs. Um, turbo exhaust fan. Let's spin back around here real quick and look up at our ceiling. We have a 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt. There's a Bluetooth speaker up here you can connect into one of your ducted Coleman ACs, and then there's a large turbo exhaust fan right there. The, the control for that large turbo exhaust fan, which drug us back that direction, is actually right here to turn this on and off. Ceiling fan control, and then our Firefly control right here, which basically has a whole bunch of cool stuff we'll go over when we come back in. Now, kind of tucked in behind the entertainment area is the steps going up to the bedroom and bathroom area. So down at the bottom step, there is a dustpan vac central vac hookup. You have a little step light there, electric box with some breakers and fuses in it. And then here, there's a little sit down seat area right there. And you also have some little hook holders here. Smoke detector up top. 
window in the hallway area right here. Again, day-night roller shades. When they do these dual pane windows, you'll usually see the little sticker that says insulated window on it as well. And right down here is a little inverter button. Moving forward here a little bit, we have a little closet area here. Let's get these doors open so you can see this a little bit. But there is a little closet area right here and basically some shelf space on the left. See that little gray metal box right down there? This one was ordered with the little safe feature. And there's a hanging closet bar across there and a light I forgot to turn on. You can see they are also using kind of a nice recessed Euro style hinge. There is another one of the temperature sensor buttons for your ACs on the hallway area right there. So on the right side we have the bathroom area. Check out this huge mirror here. Nice backlighting, backsplash, double vanity. There is six drawers in the middle and then some storage space on each side as well. But this is a huge bathroom. Tons of room to get in and out, get dressed, get undressed, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely a good, good bathroom setup here. Another large turbo exhaust fan here. Check out the little shower head stuff going on here. Multiple sprays. That is a one piece fiberglass shower with the sit down seat, glass enclosure, and also has that skylight up above. Over here, there is kind of a linen closet here. Pretty good amount of space there as well. Now, just back to the toilet here. This is a little bit fancier toilet as well. So you have the nicer hard seat and lid instead of the cheap plastic stuff. Foot flush toilet, porcelain bowl. AC and heat in the bathroom. So if you do close the sliding door, you don't have to worry about walking into an oven or a cooler, depending on what time of year it is. So over here is part of the slide. There is quite a few drawers. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Window over there does open up. The top part of the dresser over here also raises up. So there's kind of a little bit of hidden storage underneath there as well. TV over there is on a swing arm. Looking up at our ceiling, there is one of your Coleman Central Airs again. Then you have kind of a desk space here across the front. And you can kind of set this up as a little work office if you want. You got the big windshield overlooking the front of the RV. There is electric outlet, USB charger ports here on the left. The King Wi-Fi Connect set up there as well. Pull down day-night roller shades up there also. Over here, this one was ordered with the combo washer dryer. So right here, if you're going to be extended staying or full timing, you have a washer dryer set up right there. All in one combo setup. Also ordered with the Cadet wall heater as well. So we have the fireplace down there throwing out some heat. You have your propane furnace throwing out heat. And then you also have this option if you want it, the cadet bedroom wall heater. You could also put heat strips on the air conditioner or heat pumps on the air conditioners. Um, and you also have 12 volt heat pads for cold weather camping on your holding tanks as well. Window on each side does open. Also have a little shelf space above those windows, electric outlet on each side of the bed as well. The bed does raise up and there's some storage underneath of that. 
This customer also ordered it with the Rebon carpet padding up here in the bedroom. So you can do carpet or vinyl, depending on what you prefer. I know a lot of people like the carpet in the bedroom. So in the winter time, they don't have to step out onto the cold linoleum. But each to their own, what they might like. Now, one thing I forgot to mention here is another little hidden storage area right there. So you got these little hidden cubbies and then you also have that safe in there as well. Uh, again, all different parts of packages and stuff depending on what you prefer when you're ordering it. So talk with your salesperson about that when you are setting this thing up. All right, we're gonna head back outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV and then we're gonna close this thing up. I wanna show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 390 RK Champagne Edition fifth wall here. So we're gonna start here on the door side of the RV. So first things up, this one was ordered with the Sapphire exterior paint job. So they offer a couple different paint jobs and your standard fiberglass exterior. So depending on which way you want it, make sure you talk with your salesperson and get it ordered up properly. So this one was ordered with two awnings. The main large awning that you're seeing here is standard, has an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and the front arm has a manual override in it to run it in and out in case of an electronic failure. The second awning is an option on the standard Cedar Creek, uh, and basically that is a awning that does have wind sensors on it, an LED light strip built on the outer tube of it, and then it basically you push a button to bring it back in and out as well. This one you've seen again when we were inside with that washer dryer combo setup. So the dryer vent comes out right here on the side. Also you've seen when we were inside, we talked about that four camera setup. This is one of your four cameras. So you have one on this side, one on the other side, looking down the sides of the RV. There is the pet friendly leash latch holder right there. Now just down below here is a gas line hookup for a portable grill if you wanted to plug in a portable grill. Then behind this door you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Right here we have a swing baggage door instead of a lift up baggage door. Thicker baggage door as well, better insulated, metal slam locks instead of plastic. Very large pass-through storage compartment here. Now, the unit also has what they refer to as a Suburban Elite griddle. And it's got kind of its own little kitchen area. We'll go over that here in just a second. Rubber mat kind of diamond plate floor here. Central vac in here, electric outlet, cable outlet. There is uh, light in here as well. And then some stuff back in behind there for maintenance things. You can also see some of the aluminum tube framing and stuff up there as well. Now in between the two doors here, we have a cold water spray port and an electric outlet here. This part right here is the portion that swings around and drops down so you can set up your griddle. And then you have a 110 volt mini fridge right there. Large midship turn signal as well. More ride entrance step here. This has the shock assist on it, so it's real easy to flip in and out of the doorway. This is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step's only rated for 300 pounds. Large folding entry handle to get you in and out of the RV. And then you also have a push button keypad lock, or you can use the key either way. Just above the porch light right there is also one of the four camera systems when you do that option. So that looks down over your entry doorway. So if you are inside and happen to be using that monitor inside, you can also use it to kind of see what's going on outside as well. There is dual pane safety glass windows available for the Cedar Creek product. They do kind of the frameless look window on the outside walls. Um, again, 
optional feature if you want to get it on the standard Cedar Creek or depending on if you don't go with the Cedar Creek package or champagne package I mean down below here you are a dual axle unit easy lube hubs um, drum brakes on the standard unit you could do disc brakes on an upgrade so depending on what you prefer you also have tire pressure monitoring system very nice important safety feature for the RV uh, another thing in between the axles road armor uh, upgraded suspension which kind of acts like shocks for an RV now you're also seeing just behind the tires there the rear auto level jack system they are currently using the six point hydraulic auto level jack system on the RV so you have two behind the axles two in front of the axles and then your two on the front Stepping on back here, so you can kind of see down the side of the RV completely here. That is a very beautiful paint job. Nicely well done. Now you'll also notice on the sides of the slide out, they paint those as well, the base color of the paint. And then also you'll notice the roof line up there is also painted, where a lot of brands leave that roof material just plain material. Now just down below here is the ice maker on off valve or low point water drain as well. Spare tire mounted underneath the bottom of the RV. Fully enclosed underbelly, 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks as well. Now on the back when you do this uh, champagne upgrade package, you also get the fiberglass rear cap. So it kind of gives it more of that motorhome finish instead of a traditional flat back RV. Now looking up top here in the center, kind of blends in because it's all black up there, but there is a backup camera or observation camera back here as well. Again, you could do that as part of that four camera system when ordering a Cedar Creek. Up top on the left corner there is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder. That's a really nice ladder that you can buy aftermarket, allows you to telescope it down, throw it in a storage compartment, put it out of the way, so you don't have to worry about somebody climbing up there and falling off and getting hurt when you're not paying attention. That ladder is rated for around 330 pounds, so it is heavier duty than the traditional mount on ladder, which is only rated for 250 pounds. Storage back here, this is basically just a little area in the corner of the rear kitchen section. Down below here, you could see the galley dump area and the handle just up in there as well. Now going forward just a little bit further right here, we have the freshwater tank drain. Step on back here so you can see down the side a little better. So up there in the middle of the wall up there is the stove exhaust vent. Now there is a little flapper in there and you do have to open that up. So that right there, you might need a little step stool to get up there to do that with. It's kind of high. The unit was also ordered with these slide out awning covers. So you are seeing a roll in and roll out awning that goes in and out with the slides automatically. Those help shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, and things like that so that you don't have to worry about having to get up there and clean them off. Little security light on this side. Stove or furnace exhaust out right here. Not the stove, the furnace. And then we have our Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater right here as well. Really nice setup there. Down below is your dump hose holder. And then you also have your second drain area right here as well. Now the handles for this one are gonna be up in the docking station. You'll see that here in a second. Detachable power cord. This is a 50 amp electric service. This one was also ordered again with that third AC setup. Nice feature to have. The other side of your pass-through storage compartment. So up here we have a powered power cord reel. You have your galley tank, black or bath tank, black tank. Notice they color-coded them for black. Pull the nasty, the black, out. 
get all the nasty out, then pull your other ones to kind of rinse out your hose. Hydraulic on off valves for your slide rooms so you can turn them on and off individually. Got a light in here, battery disconnect in here, hot and cold outside utility shower, cable satellite inlets, city water, black tank flush, front cap light, direct your water where you want it to go. So you hook your hose up here, turn the valves, send it to fill up the fresh, send it to city water, sanitation, winterization, all that kind of stuff. Hot and cold low point water drains right down here, easy to get to, and then this is your hose for your outside shower there. Swing door again on this side. Over here we have the hydraulic pump that runs your auto level jacks, some of your slide rooms. Manually override it here, hopefully you never need to do that, but it can be done. Room for probably three, maybe four batteries, depending on the size of the battery, but I'd say you could at least fit three in there if you want to. And then right up here, we have the auto level jack controls or the on off controls to get it on and off your truck. So basically you just kind of come here, turn it on, hit the button. You can scroll through it manually and do things, you know, but auto level is the main point when you are setting up uh, down here we got some really important informational stickers right here um, i popped this kind of up at the beginning but 18,000 pound gross weight 13,519 dry weight so you can pack quite a bit in there also has the production date has the vin number on it axle sizes all that type of stuff stepping on back here so you can kind of see down that side Really, really gorgeous setup. Again, this was done with that champagne package, so it does have a few bonus features that you don't get on the regular Cedar Creek. I put all that down in the description on what's in that package. LED light strips coming down each side of the windshield there, and then one across the front. Now, the unit comes with the standard Rhino pen box. You can option up to say like a Kurt Trail Air box if you want, uh, or some people really like the More Ride box aftermarket. Uh, again, you can do that as well, or go Gooseneck, whatever. So a few different things, but whatever you do buy, you gotta make sure it bolts up to the Rhino box properly. Down here we have another little storage area. Now this is generator prepped already. You can opt in for a LP generator from the factory owning 5,500 watt if you want. When you do the disc brake reservoir setup right down here, um, if you get the disc brake feature. There is a little panel right there that you can open up and get into some access of some of the guts of the RV. And then it looks like there is another slide control box up there as well. But overall, a really, really beautiful exterior setup here. Lots of nice high-end features here. All right, guys, we're going to head back inside. I want to show you what it looks like closed real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the new 2023 Cedar Creek Champagne Edition 390. And I just want to show you what it looks like closed real quick. So when you are ready to close things up, <clears throat> you do have to come back in here to your Firefly system. So this one right here, kind of go over some of the stuff real quick, has a master on off light switch, water heater switch. There's a water pump switch, 12 volt tank heater switch, and all of your gauges for your holding tanks. Battery meter here, generator start stop button if you order it with a generator or it'll be here if you do gen prep as well. One of your ACs will be on here. There is a whole light control setup here that you can go through. HVAC setup here you can go through as well. Slides and awnings controls, and then settings for the brightness, the Fahrenheit, Celsius, all that type of stuff. So let's go back to our slides. Now I have already ran in the bedroom slide. Kind of cheated here a little bit just wanted to show you what this looks like and speed her up a little faster here so with the bedroom slide in this is a hydraulic slide on the bedroom slide i can still scoot by here 
I could come in here, sleep if I needed to, get to my washer dryer, my desk area. You know, I could come up here with that room closed and still do some stuff. Now what's gonna shut me off from this bedroom area is gonna be this large hallway slash bedroom dresser slide. So that one is an electric slide. So let's set this camera down here for just a second. Kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so that was pretty quick and easy. Didn't take long. It's a 12 volt slide system. You know, that just hit the button, comes right in. But when you do close it up, you can see you're not really getting back there. It blocks you off from that section of the RV. So you do need to open that for that to function properly. Now let's check out the downstairs. We are going to continue to bring this in. Very, very important when closing up your slides or even opening your slides to make sure that everything is out of the way and everything is nice and clean. Let off the button here so you can kind of see this. But this gets very, very close to your cabinetry. You know, your TV area there, if it's swung out and not put back properly, your cabinet's up top. Same thing, you got this freestanding theater seat. You could scoot outward some. And if you just pull it out and then try to run it in, you might hit that or damage something. So just be a little cautious and careful. Very, very important to make sure your floor is clean. No rocks, pebbles, grandkids, toys, whatever in the way. It will run things over and rip your floor, damage things. Uh, especially little pebbles and stuff that might get drug in from your shoes. It's real easy to miss one of those and hurt something. So let's continue on in with the other room here. Now this is a big slide, so that refrigerator, the dinette, uh, the, the theater seat all kind of come in together there. Very, very important when bringing that in to also make sure that your leaf extension is not fully locked into place. So with this closed up, I could kind of squeeze back here. Now, if my dinette was unfastened from the floor and spun around sideways with maybe some other makeshift strap that you might come up with, I could walk back here, get to my kitchen, get to my refrigerator, you know, use my sink, my stove with this thing closed up. But with the way the factory screws down the dinette, you can't really get back there without climbing over something. So I would probably recommend coming up with your own little makeshift thing to spin this dinette sideways, allowing you to walk right on by there uh, when you're traveling if you need to or want to. All right, but you kind of get the idea what it all looks like closed up here. Hope that was helpful for you. Um, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. And I just want to step outside here, kind of show you what this looks like again with the slides closed. Really, really beautiful setup here. Really nice paint job. Thanks again. Much appreciated.